And so we've, we've made a complete system, which we call the Mighty 90, and there's like 25 different ways to, to get that, depending on, you know, people have allergies to shellfish or they've got allergies to this, that, and the other. So we've come up with 25 different ways to cover every known eventuality, whether they like liquids or capsules or whatever. We, we've covered all these things in the, what we call the Mighty 90. We assure them that they're going to get optimal, in, in many cases, 8,000 times or 16,000 times or 30,000 times the minimum data requirement. Because when you have a disease which is debilitating you to the point where doctors have got you on pharmaceuticals, they want to cut your knees out and put in artificial knees. People don't want to wait a year to be healed. And so what we've learned is to use a bigger hammer, and to, I call it, and to give them mega doses and nutrients to the point where we can rebuild joints, we can rebuild the cartilage. I've had people who's got their meniscus has been surgically removed because of terrible accidents. They've all torn up. Mm -hmm. They've surgically removed these, and we've rebuilt them. Because surgeons are sloppy. They always leave a couple of stem cells for me. And I can get to them and rebuild the cartilage, rebuild the meniscus. I do this all the time with these raw materials. And so we've learned over 33 years a lot. And um, so we use a heavy hammer so that within three to six weeks, people are saying, I can't believe this. I mean, I was on medication for 40 years. I'm off my medication now mm -hmm. after three weeks. People who are all gnarled up with rheumatoid arthritis, it took a year, but their fingers are all straightened up and they can play the piano now. Okay, mm -hmm. people who were scheduled, in fact, very famous people, Andrew Young, who was um, Jimmy Carter's ambassador to the UN. He was uh, the mayor of Atlanta and the US representative mm -hmm. from the state of Georgia. He was scheduled for double knee surgery 20 years ago. Um, and his son called me up and asked me to help him. And I re regrew his knees 20 years ago. And he canceled his surgeries. He canceled his surgeries, and I rebuilt his knees for him. He's never had to um, rebuild his uh, or have, have his surgery on his knees. Um, I'm the guy through Andy Young who rebuilt Evander Holyfield's heart. Now, you think about it. Here's a guy who had a heart attack during a championship mm -hmm. fight, was able to go back and get uh, a approval in the Boxing Commission physicals to go back to box professionally after he's had a heart attack. How, how can you do that? Well, I can do that. I take people off of the um, dialysis all the time. I get people off the heart transplant list all the time. I regrow cartilage. I, I grew a heart muscle. I grow knees. I regrow kidneys. I make kidneys function. Uh, I uh, reverse muscular dystrophy in kids. I reverse cystic fibrosis in kids. And so it's very, very gratifying. Oh, here's another one. Uh, uh, dementias. Big problem now with... 80 million baby worms come along. They're all going to get dementia because they followed the doctor's advice. Uh, Alzheimer's disease is a physician-caused disease, just like vitamin D3 deficiency is a physician-caused disease. Erectile function and menopause are physician-caused diseases. I, I can tell by your face you're sort of like, what? Yeah, <laughs> menopause. I thought that was something that... Well, menopause, our grandmothers went through menopause in three seconds without one hot flash. Mm -hmm. Now... Our modern women spend half their life dealing with it, and they go through three husbands because guys can't stand it, right? <laughs> and so um, basically what it is is they've been told they've got to give up cholesterol, right, in their diets. Well, cholesterol is the raw material for ovaries to make estrogen and progesterone. Cholesterol is the basic um, raw material to make steroids, which make estrogen and progesterone. So you go on a low-cholesterol diet, you get cholesterol-lowering drugs, you're going to have menopausal symptoms to the point where you're like a flaming idiot, right? Men will have erectile dysfunction because testosterone is 95% by weight cholesterol. You want a cholesterol-restricted diet, cholesterol-lowering drugs, there's nobody home anymore, right? It's real mm -hmm. simple. Um, when it comes to Alzheimer's disease, 75% of your brain weight is this fatty insulation material called myelin. When you get Alzheimer's disease, the myelin goes away and the naked nerve fibers all tangled up and it's legendary that nerve tangles are the, le the iconic diagnostic feature of Alzheimer's disease. Nerve tangles compared to the other three classic dementias which don't have that. And <clears throat> this myelin, this fatty insulation material of the brain that makes up 75% of your brain weight is 100% cholesterol. So you're on a cholesterol restricted diet, take cholesterol-lowering drugs, there's nobody home up here, nobody home down there. I mean, life is a mess. Um, doctors for the last 50 years have been telling people to stay out of the sun because of skin cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have to go out in the sun, Scott, be sure 
you're taking SPF 7 billion, mm -hmm. you know, sunblocker to protect yourself. You have to wear long sleeves on top of that, gloves, big brim hats. Do not go out in the moonlight because you're going to get skin cancer. And for gosh sakes, do not take any vitamin A and D because it will damage your liver. And so everybody in America has a vitamin D3 deficiency. Now they've discovered that vitamin D3 is useful. Oh my gosh, everybody's got a vitamin D3 deficiency. Well, medical doctors cause that by telling everybody to get out of the sun mm -hmm. and stay away from vitamin A and D. And so you think about it, all the diseases that doctors have caused now are found in the highest of levels in the baby boomers. Obesity is a physician-caused disease. 40% of Americans are obese. 40% mm -hmm. of Americans are obese, Scott, and this is caused by medical doctors' misinformation, misadventure, and criminally negligent advice.